This is question number 16. It's worth five marks and it's an asterisk question. We're told S and T are points on the circumference of a circle, centre O. PT is a tangent to a circle. SOP is a straight line. Angle OPT is 32 degrees. We're asked to work out the size of the angle marked X. It says give reasons for your answer. So it's an asterisk question and we need to build up our answer and write clearly what we're doing. The first statement that I'm going to make is that the angle OTP will be equal to 90 degrees. If PT is a tangent, angle OTP is going to be 90 degrees. So let's write this in. We can say now that PT is a tangent. So PT is a tangent and I'm going to use my symbol therefore. So tangent, therefore the angle, and using angle notation, you can of course write angle, OTP will be equal to 90 degrees. So that's the first statement. The next thing that I'm going to look at is this angle here, and that's the angle TOP or POT. We can see we've got 90, 32, so this is going to give me now 58 degrees. So if I write now on here, we can say that the angle, so this is angle POT or TOP, entirely up to you, will be equal to 58 degrees. We can say now that the angles, so angles in a triangle, so angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. So sum to 180 degrees. So that one is done. Let's now look at the angle just here. So what I'm going to do is look at this angle, and this is going to be the angle SOT or TOS. We've got a straight line. We're told SOP is a straight line. So this is going to be 180 minus 58, or we could simply say now this is going to be 122. So let's go ahead and write that in. That's 122. So we can say now that the angle... So the angle, uh, and I'll go for SOT, will be equal to 122 degrees. And I'm going to state that angles on a straight line. So angles on a straight line, so straight line sum to 180 degrees. So sum to 180 degrees. So that now is my next statement. At this stage, what I'm going to say is that OS will be equal to OT, as they are now, the radius of a triangle. So we can say that OS will be equal to OT. And I can simply say, as both are now a radius, so writing this down, so as both are a radius, okay, so both are a radius, R-A-D-I-S, Okay, so what that tells me now is that the angles just here are going to be the same as it's an isosceles triangle. So we can say at this stage, the isosceles triangle, and I'm just using the, uh, the triangle symbol, uh, triangle SOT, so triangle SOT is going to be an isosceles. So triangle is isosceles, isosceles, there we go. Therefore, now the angle X, right in angle X, is going to be equal to now the 180 minus 122 divided by 2. So let's write this in. 180 minus 122 divided by 2. So that's going to give me now on here, we're going to have 58 over 2. 58 over 2 is going to give me 29 degrees. So that is one way that you could set that up for five marks. Lots of different approaches, as you can probably imagine. This is just one way that you could do it, and you could go from there. An alternative approach would to be, say, now that the angle, we've got this angle just here, this is the angle TOS or SOT, is going to be double the angle TSO, as this is the arrow theorem. Angles at the center are double that at the circumference. That would give us 29 degrees. If this is 29 degrees, then angle X will also be 29 degrees, as we have OS is equal to OT. So lots of different approaches with that one. It's entirely up to you. As long as you've got some logical answer, you'll get for five marks.